Hello and welcome. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 54 of Let's Play the Prince and the Thane mod for Crusader Kings 2. And where we left off last, I was attacking pagans, taking all of their stuff. Man, look at all these little silly rebellions we've got to deal with. It's annoying. Don't really care. And we've got some holdings that we've just conquested from that holy war, so let's get rid of those. I'm still... I'm actually within my limits, so we'll hold on to this one for a second. Just look at all these juicy bonuses we give this county for being part of our domain. Gets a 175% domain bonus for most of our holdings, and that's from the five other holdings that we have that have that technology. So that is pretty significant. What is that? 35% probably? 35... I'm not really sure exactly how much that would be. Quick, someone with a calculator. Divide 175% by 5. That's the answer. Whatever it is. Yeah. Right, so, um, hmm. Ducal claims. Do we have a truce timer with you? I have armies raised. I can't attack anybody right now. All right, we've got some holding, or some money, though. Let's see if we can build something. I know I just tried this, but we're at that point where it's either build something else. Wow, even our, our one we just stole is currently building something. A surf hamlet built in a couple months, so I'll save a little bit of money and I'll build something else up here. Ooh, we have a small riding grounds. Now, in the regular mod, this will end up going away. Ooh, County of Desmond. Yes, I want that. In, in regular Crusader Kings 2, if your culture, your character's culture, determines whether or not you can have cultural buildings. So usually when you take over a county, the cultural buildings die. Um, in order to have this, the holding is not building anything. One of the following must be true. Have culture group Altaic, have culture group Iranian. We don't have those, so... We can't ever upgrade this, but it looks like it's going to stay here, which is kind of neat. I wonder if we can also build the English culture one. Probably not. My guess is what's going to happen is as soon as the um, as soon as the culture of the province changes from Vulgaic to English, that that cultural building will probably get destroyed. So. Yeah, so we have a new claim over here, though, on Desmond, and we've already got Ormond underneath our control, so if we take Desmond, we'll be able to create that duchy. Actually, that duchy already exists, but we'll be able to usurp the duchy and then take another county. Let's send our chancellor to... Do we have this duchy yet? We control one out of three. We'll need to usurp one more title from him, so let's do that. Or I could just be nice. I could ask him to swear fealty. Must be at peace. He's at war right now. Defending against Countess Oraka. Oh. He's allied and he's fighting in a war down here. Interesting. Alright. Something else I could do then with all this money besides building holdings is start creating some duchies. Just to get rid of some, some more vassals. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm fine with just building all of them now. I usually hold off. The more prestige you have, the less it costs. What? Can I nominate me? There we go. Sure, yeah. So because I've just created that duchy, and that duchy is part of the du jour area of Sweden, uh, we get a successor nomination. If I did win the Swedish crown, I would definitely destroy the Swedish crown. Because I don't like... At least, unless I could get to Emperor tier. If I got up to Emperor tier, I'd hold on to it, maybe. But one of the ways that I like to play is I like to do genocide and, like, the complete cultural conversion of the world. And culture conversion... And culture conversion basically stops if you allow other kingdoms to exist. Because they'll have different cultures, and it's just easier if you have everything in one kingdom. One huge, huge kingdom. That's you know, one of the ways that I've played, at least. So let's check these guys. Who is English? English, ideally, Saxon is acceptable, but I'd prefer an English guy. No English. Okay, in that case, who likes me? Or rather, who has good stewardship? 
I always I like to prioritize vassals with high stewardship. Not women, of course. That guy's no good. Alright. I'm kinda leaning towards this guy. I like his diplomacy. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, he's got claims that he'll press. Maybe. I don't really care that much. You can have the Duchy of Upland. Congratulations. What else can we create? Duchy of Corellia. Alright, sure. Sounds good. Lots of prestige. Title created. Hmm. Any English? Nope. So it's between these two. 12 stewardship versus 1. I think I'll choose this guy. Congratulations, you're a duke. Alright, who's next? No kingdoms allowed. But the Duchy of Vidzimin. Vidzimin. Sounds good. Let's create it. You? English? No. You are a woman. You're Saxon. 11 stewardship. 14 stewardship. You win. There, again, let me just briefly explain why I like stewardship. So he's got his own income, right? His vassals have income. When his vassals pay him income, and like ultimately my tax rate, what I get from him is dependent on his income. So the more income he has, the more taxes I get. Does that make sense? Like, I want him to make as much money as possible because that makes me the much money as much money as possible. Of course. You know, him being a, a military ruler or something would probably help, but... Letigalia. This is a three-county duchy. Any English... Hey, we got a one-year-old English boy. Sounds good. Congratulations, you're a one-year-old duke. The reason I want... Oh, almost just quit the game. Um, the reason I want English... Dukes is because there's an event that fires that causes English and Norman characters to convert um, Saxons. So having an English duke over top of two Saxon people will hopefully help convert this whole world to English. Uh, sure, let's create that one too. Now this is interesting. So this is only a single, looks like three. Theocracy of Lanema. Got a bishopric on the top. That's annoying. We only have one of the three titles. No, we have two. I don't know what I'm talking about. 64-year-old Englishman. I guess I'll go with this guy. This guy's actually my steward. You get that title, and hopefully he'll attack. And get that third title for me. And we're out of money. So let's actually play a little bit. See what we can do. Um, I really should take care of these these rebel rebels. If I, if I don't, then they'll just never get done. Do you have any army down here I can raise? Having, um, having all these dukes will actually make it a little bit easier for me to raise, raise the levy as well. Wow, that's a big one. Oh shoot, my old man just died. Who became the... No. Oh. Saxon just became the Duke. That's unfortunate. Let's try to improve economy tech over here. We'll have the largest impact right now. And... Currently he's researching in Lancaster. I think I was trying to get, what, heavy armor? It's a level 2. It's only at one level 1.8. I'd really like heavy armor, but I do think it's more important to get this other county up here up to speed. I mean, look at the bonuses on this. This thing's going to get technology really, really quickly. 70.82% chance per year with heavy armor. That'll take just like 2-3 years we'll get this thing leveled up. 
Plus, it's applying that bonus to seven separate technologies versus just, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just the way I like to do it. All right, so, um, hmm, <laughs> I wish I could get this, this modifier to go away. Let's create another title. Not the Kingdom of Wales. No titular touchies. It's interesting how they're all titular. It's kind of weird. Create that duchy. Saxon, Saxon, Saxon. Guess I'll go with the older guy. Do do do. Wealthy ruler no longer affecting us. Pruning down my vassal count a little bit. Now we only have 80. Makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, this take revenge plot. I don't. I don't know. We've had it for a long time. Nothing's fired. So um, I give up again. Instead. I'm going to... That was the guy, right? I think that was him. Yeah, instead I'm going to imprison him. Actually, since I know he murdered someone, can I just imprison him? Yeah. I don't even need to plot to do it, I can just put him in prison. I could execute him. Now nah, we'll just take the 25 gold. That's plenty. And let's build something in our fresh little holding here. Sure, that's fine. Looks like they've actually, I, I haven't really mentioned it yet, but they've definitely toned down the duration. It usually takes six months to reassign a guy. Looks like it only takes about a month and a half, two months. Inherited the Earldom of Pskov and other titles. Alright. A new spymaster. Wow, 22. That is a lot. What do we want him to do? Did we end up getting that level 2? No, not yet. Legalism's still at 1.9. Hmm. Kind of annoying. We're over our limits. We've inherited this land here. How about... Get rid of it. And then from there... I need to remember to reassign this guy in a couple days. I mean, he's come down here and support that. Didn't even have a commander in charge of this army. I'm going to put myself out there. <laughs> Hope I don't die. <laughs> well, at least if I if I get engaged in some combat, hopefully I will... Uh... Yeah, sure, whatever. I will um, hopefully be able to upgrade my, my skill. My, my fighting ability. Not that it helped my father very much. Wow, what is happening? That thing is going crazy. Tactics, lots and lots of technology improvements. Good, good, good. And there goes my son. My twin. Smallpox. Hmm. I think it's about time to declare war on Desmond. But before I do that, I'm going to clean up Hey, yeah, that's two in a row. We've just converted. So Catholicism spreading rather quickly. Let's create another duchy. Duchy of Courland. Sure, sounds good. I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to end up creating a kingdom on accident because they've got those funny names. Interesting. So this guy is the... Uh, oh, he's got the titular duchy. That's the guy that we gave... Yeah, well, you can have both duchies. That's fine. 
A titular duchy and a regular duchy doesn't doesn't really matter that much. He's a double duke, but not really. Clear out this last little band here. And now we'll release all of my men. Man, my army is weak. You know, years and years ago, my father had like 30,000 men. Of course, we got small smallpox everywhere. Uh, let's get away from there. Your characters can catch disease just by being in the county. I'm going to put myself in charge of this army so that I'm over here away from the smallpox because I really don't want to catch it. That's a big, big disease. Lots of people are going to be dying here. Smallpox. Look at that. Minus 50% income. If you look at the levy. Smallpox minus 50%. Huge. That might be part of the reason why my levy is really small right now. But apparently we can attack this guy right now. Let's do the Holy War so that I can convert it to a normal county instead of a bishopric type county. And at the same time we'll declare war on Desmond. And apparently somebody has a claim on this guy's land. Nope, he's excommunicated. Can we attack Scotland right now? I can claim Fife on behalf of my vassal. Sounds good. And do we have a truce timer with you? No, we don't. How much power do you have, Sweden? Quite a few, but I think I've actually got a pretty sizable army over here. Got my, my retinue. But, I mean, this army is 10,000 men strong, so... Let me rally to there. And we'll send this army to there first. And then they'll go there. Meanwhile... Desmond's going to be rather quick. So let me do it like this. We'll go... God, I hate seeing all that those illnesses everywhere. Let's just raise up some boats. Select the boats. We've got 47. That'll be enough to get, you know, three, four grand over there. And then we'll say take southern half of the army. No, not that many. Not even that many. 4,000 men. You guys can go to there. And then all the men north of that will take to there. And let's rally into our own land first. Okay. Yeah, look at that. That guy actually has an attrition penalty with only 3,000 men. Supplyment. Yeah, he's over the limit. Smallpox. Increases the attrition rate. It's brutal. Smallpox minus four. Huge, huge, huge. Okay, great. I'm going to wrap this one up here. Look forward to seeing you again in the next video. We'll see you soon.